Hello everyone, it's Diane, and I guess we're going to do a craft with me today. I didn't know what I would be doing, but I'm going to be making some ephemera for the next Traveler's Notebook, and I thought that would be a good time to turn the camera on and just play. As I said yesterday, I'm making a bunch of Traveler's Notebooks, um, entirely different themes and um, styles. <clears throat> so I got the two iris ones finished yesterday. And today I'm working on this one, which is made from a, um, well, it's made from cardstock, but I used a paperback, a vintage paperback novel cover um, called Dangerous Summer. I just loved the graphic on it. So when I got this out to make the journal, I realized it has a lot of, um, like, stickers of different countries. There's a, I guess that's a little bit, oh, it's, <laughs> it's a statue there. I was going to say I thought it was a map, but it's a statue. Um, anyway, so I thought I'd make it a little travel journal. So I'm hoping that someone's going to want a travel journal for this summer. So I have all the papers cut, and I don't have a digital kit for this. Um, so I'm going to make some ephemera with some of my stamps. I have this set from Stampin' Up! from years ago, 2001. I have this set, which probably hasn't ever been used, and this one. So I'm going to make some stuff, and then I also have a paper pad from Teresa Collins. I've had it for a few years. I forgot the name of it, but I have little bits of things that I can use to uh -huh. make if I'm with that. I have these little postcard that I stamped. A long time ago I've had them in my stash, so I'll use a couple of those probably in the journal. So without further ado, let's just see what we can make. Well, I think I'll start with this one. Okay, so not knowing the type of vacation that the person who buys this will be taking, I don't really know if it will be on a plane, on a boat, in a car. So I'm going to try to avoid all of those and just use some generic things. So I can use the compass. And this, it's like a luggage tag, but on the strap it's... <coughs> Sorry, it says date of travel. And I can use the globe, because you're going to be somewhere on the globe. There's another luggage tag. Actually, any of these I can use except for the fly high. Okay, so then over here, this one has some cool journaling stamps. This one says, itinerary, date, what did I see, places I went, cool things, and people I met. There's a definition of travel. There's another compass. There's where we went. And there's a trip meter. So you can rate it on a scale. Um, it says date, location, wow factor, and then you circle one through five. One, uh, chill factor, or wouldn't, would I do it again, yes or no. So that's kind of cool. Some arrows are good for travel, travel journals. I guess that'll be it from here. This one is kind of cool. It says went to, and then it shows a mountain scene, a city, a beach, and the desert. I 
Okay. Now, what am I going to use for stamping these on? I can stamp some on pages, but I'm not going to do that yet. I brought over some cards that I can stamp on. I'll use the back of one of these little index cards to stamp these journaling on the journaling stamps on. Then you can write on that side where the lines are. <clears throat> And on the other side, I can put this, it says what we saw. Didn't bring my glue over. snowing at six o'clock this morning and I think it's going to snow all day. I had to take my grandsons to, the, to their bus and the roads were slick. I was surprised they were having school. And since it's supposed to snow all day, they might get early let out. I don't know how much is supposed to accumulate. But where we went, what we saw. Okay, so another one will have itinerary and date and stuff like that. Trying not to make too much noise on this glass mat. Guess I'll just put travel notes on that. These are pretty basic ephemera pieces, but it's a traveler's notebook. I don't want to bulk it up too much. I just want, you don't want really fancy stuff when you're traveling. Probably, I'm going to Alaska on a cruise in June, and I probably won't take um, a journal, um, not the travel journal, with me. I'm going to try to make one, but I'll have something with me that I can store my um, ephemera and stuff in that I pick up and uh, a little notebook to write in but then I'll do the journaling when I get home I don't want to take the journal with me so I don't know if this would be carried it's small enough that it could be carried and I don't want to make it too bulky I'm going to round the corners of this one and stamp the definition for travel on it.
and one of these had a smaller compass. Yep, I'm going to use this littler compass. That's cute, and then there's room to write on the front and the back. out the sight C part here and use that <laughs> some arrows maybe The arrows to be in pretty colors. Where'd my little, little block go? It's over here. So I have a bright green for the cover and then there's a lot of red on the book cover and little dashes of yellow. So I'm reaching over to my Stampin' Up! Pad, ink pad carousel here. I don't know which yellow. I think Daffodil Delight is the freshest one. I'll try it out on a practice card first. Oh, what can I stamp on? doesn't have enough substance to use yellow. That one has a more solid outline. Okay, I'll do that. There's that one. I want to do this trip meter one on one of these cards again. Explore on it. So I have two of the larger cards and three of the small cards. That'll probably be enough of that. Let's see what else I can do.
sure it's narrow enough to fit into a pocket. Just a uh, cut off piece of paper. Yeah, that should fit. So on the front of that, I can put one of these cards. Explore, travel, remember, document, trip, and memories, and journey. Looks like it'll just fit. the wet glue for this because the paper is thin. It'll warp it. Semi straight. Date of travel. I'm going to want some pockets or bags or something in here. To, I did put a glassine craft bag here because you're going to want to put tickets and things like that to save. So let me see what sacks I have. put a glass seam one or a white one or a gold <coughs> gold one that looks kind of cool there Okay, so I'm going to put that on as a tuck spot, and you can put I'll put it over here. You can put tickets inside it and something behind it. Enjoy the journey on the front of that bag if it'll fit. Well, if it doesn't, I can trim it. I definitely need to trim it. Unless I have a little bit larger bag.
Yeah, maybe we want a bigger one here. I'll just trim this a tiny bit. So that says enjoy the journey. I wonder if there's a little word strip that can go there. That would kind of go with that. tourist up there. Again, I'll put it on as a tuck spot. Okay. I think I better some other kind of work on the pages and then if I need more ephemera I can make them. Let me see if I want to stamp something on some of these pages while we're here with the stamps. Let's do this one. It has the different locations you could go to. somewhere, a colored arrow, something brighter than yellow. Well, you do with the green. Do the globe in red. I don't have a stampin' up red. I used to stampin' up red when I was at that stampin' up party a week or so ago, but I didn't buy it. Guess I better figure out where I want this before I ink it up.
put an arrow on here too. I like that squiggly arrow. Oh, it's got a road, uh, yeah, a road on there. That's cool. And the luggage tag. Okay, I'm going to see what else needs to be done here, and uh, I'll be back. Bye.